This video tutorial is going to cover how to use the sweep tool to create this simple object. Now this is essentially a paper clip, but there are two components we need to be aware of for sweeps. There's the path, which I'm highlighting here, and you can think about a paper clip the way the wire is bent. And then there is the profile, which is what a cross section of that looks like. Now this isn't a traditional round wire. This is um, a little bit more rectangular with uh, rounded edges. Still very easy to create in Autodesk Inventor. Now note this is in millimeters and you're going to want to change that prior to um, putting in any dimensions. You know, the tools menu, it's very, very easy to do that. And usually with millimeters, we're using two decimal places. I'm going to start my first sketch and real quick, just to make everything easy, I'm going to place the origin right here. I could also alternatively place it here, but anytime I place the origin at the intersection point of my path and sweep, I'm just making it easier on myself where I don't have to create new work planes for my sketches. So I'm going to make my path on this bottom one and then the perpendicular one to that. I'm going to use this plane to create my profile and I'm going to do my path first, but it really doesn't matter which one you do first. Okay, so there's my general shape. Now, first thing I should probably put in is my tangents to make sure everything is smooth. Now, tangents are really important. If you don't have a smooth path, uh, chances are your shape will not sweep the way you want it to. Okay, I know these are gonna be concentric, these two arcs. So I can put that in now before I put my dimensions in. And I know everything here is horizontal, so I'm going to make sure that one knows. And I'm going to put my dimensions in. Now there's, I'm just going to replicate the dimensions here. Okay, do those. I need one here. So this is essentially center point to center point, 50.8. Okay. And now I can see these two are lined up with the space between the center points. So I'm actually going to drag this guy back over. And I can also tell that those are vertical, so I can put that in as well. And then put my space in here. And I'm going to do it between these two points, 9.53. All right, I am fully constrained, so I am good to go. So my path is complete. Finish that sketch. And now, like I said before, we want to sketch perpendicular to this point here. I could do either of these points. It really doesn't matter. But uh, whatever you consider your starting point, start it there. And you'll notice that that point coincides with this plane here which is exactly why I start on the origin. Now I'm vertical here, but this is a perfectly symmetrical and kind of squarish design, so it really shouldn't matter. I can go about this a couple different ways. I'm just gonna do center point rectangle. Now, if I were not on the origin, I would have to project this point, but being the origin, it is pretty much visible from all planes as long as it's turned on. So I don't have to do that step, but otherwise I would have to do that step. ADI R.51. And I could also just use a series of lines and arcs to create this. That would be perfectly fine too. And now I have a flat to flat size. 3.8. And the last thing is to make these equal because this is very squarish. All right, that is now fully constrained. Now, since this point between the two sketches was the origin, 
it should recognize it no problem. But if you were not working on the origin planes, then you would need to make sure you project that. I say that again because it will not work without it. It has to have, the computer needs some point of contact between these two points. Now, as you can see, it already picked up the profile. It's just asking me to select the path, which is that. And there it is, very simple. Uh, two relatively simple sketches, but it creates this really neat 3D shape that would actually be um, quite a few sketches to create otherwise, or steps. <laughs> now, lastly, there's just some text here in my example, but I'm not going to show you that. That's relatively simple. Um, you just use another sketch here, text tool, kind of play with the size, and then extrude it. Now, this is a very, very 3D printable object. So, uh, you know, something, uh, it's a quick print, doesn't take much material, and it actually functions. So, a um, good little thing for you to have your kids print out or to print out and give to somebody, perhaps. All right, that is how you create the sweep on Autodesk Inventor.